It's Wednesday. <laughs> it is Wednesday, and we are back for another episode of Automated. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're getting used to it. Yeah, we're getting, we are automated. Are you automated? That's what the idea behind this whole series is, right? Exactly. It's We're coming to you about the questions that our clients are asking us, mm -hmm. our shops are asking us, but then also what we've been curious to learn and explore more into as well. And even questions that you didn't think to ask. And that's mm -hmm. a lot of times it's like, oh my goodness, that's that simple. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're here. We're going to keep doing this and bringing other people on board. Yes. And we want you to stop in and say hi because there's a lot to learn here. There's absolutely a lot to learn here. And you just got back from a big conference this past weekend. How was Vision? Kansas City Vision was amazing. It's a, one of the biggest things that I like about it is seeing all those techs going to those classes because they understand the power of knowledge mm -hmm. and learning. You know, in the old days, we could pull things apart and figure them out, but today that's not true. And if yep. you're not careful, you can hurt yourself. So it was really great seeing a lot of folks out there at Kansas. And if I saw you, that was great. If I didn't see you, good job, man. And yeah, that's great. And if anybody's watching and was at Kansas City, let us know who'd you talk to, who'd you see while we were there. Um, I know I, now I've never personally been to Vision before, but I know this conference is really different from a lot because of how much education is there. It really is more focused on the idea of learning and training rather mm -hmm. than you know going around and going to booths and stopping to see what everybody's selling. And that's actually pretty accurate because, you know, when we're out in the booth in the expo, uh, we only see people when they're not in class. Mm -hmm. And you can see how the classes flow because there's nobody, then suddenly there's everybody. It's like, school guy out, you know, recess! Yep. Or whatever it might be. And the other thing is, it takes place in the heart of the United States. Mm -hmm. And you have a lot of people driving for hours and hours or flying in from all around the United States to be at that point to share their knowledge. Exactly. And there's people showing up to grab that knowledge and run with it. So it's a really great event. You have to go sometime. I'll have to get there. But until then, we're going to keep educating all of our shops. And today we're going to talk about some of the benefits of auto repair invoicing software. Invoicing. Invoicing. So we all know that when it comes to paying the bill and taking out the wallet, it's not our customer's favorite time of their what? appointment. But it doesn't necessarily have to be the shop's least favorite time either. No. I mean, it's actually the shop's happy time. <laughs> yeah, this is when they're making money. So yes. how, do, how does software make it easier well, when it comes to invoicing? The invoices that a lot of the management systems give are really dysfunctional. They're really, you know, they lay things out in a really weird, weird order, and they're black and white, and there's nothing to them. It's just a big receipt. And most customers are going to take that and just throw it in a glove box or in the trash. That's right. So what we can do with our software, we can do a lot more with that document. Instead of just being a receipt and hard to read, we can actually make it easier for the customers to read. Mm -hmm. And we can actually put a lot of things on it. And I know you're gonna talk about what we can put on it. Sure, yeah, so the whole idea that we're able to build a customized report where you don't have to go in and do the work every single time you go to build out a new invoice. All you do is hit print. All you have to do is hit print, it's already done for you. But there's so many different things that you're able to add on invoices now if you're using an auto repair software uh, for invoicing, whether it's Bolton Technologies or any other company. You know, you're able to add things like your logo, like your branded colors, all of your contact information in case they need to get a hold of you again. And then you also have the opportunity, specifically with our software, to add in things like coupons, educational coupons, <laughs> educational information. Um, you know, we have Car Care Month coming up, you know, next month. Perhaps it's, no, yeah, it is next month. Oh my gosh, that's right, we're in March. So perhaps it's just adding in some tips of how to maintain their car and how to keep their car, car you know, top mm -hmm. notch. There's so many different things that you can add to really continue to provide more value to your customers and incentivize them to come back again. You know, actually you hit on a point too because you said it's not the customer's favorite time at this point mm -hmm. when they pick up the piece, they see the bill. And unfortunately, that surprise, that financial drain that the customer has when they come, and the surprise is all that, that's no good. But that's another good reason for the repair, the invoice. Mm -hmm. Because what we should be doing is, that as we look at the customer's car today, we should know when it trans needs service, when the tires need to rotate on it. And we should put all that right on the document so the customer sees it, and when they show up, they're not surprised. We've already told them what they're gonna do. I mean, I just went to the dentist this morning. They told me to get back in six months for the cleaning. I know what they're gonna do, because I already did the um, 
what do you call it, the x-rays and everything today. Sure. And that's what we should be doing with our customers when they come to our shops. Mm -hmm. Today we did your oil change and this and that, but next time you come in, your trans needs to be serviced. Absolutely. And you know what? I know another really important factor that you can add in are services that were declined as well. So, you know, when you're thinking about building out your invoice, right, if you're building them all out from scratch, you know, that's a lot of communication you need to have back and forth between the bays. The service advisor isn't necessarily always, you know, didn't know everything that was being looked mm -hmm. at unless the people within the bay are communicating that back. Right. When you use technology that's speaking back and forth between the front desk and the bays, you have all the information that you need to provide the most detailed invoice, not only of the work that needs to be paid for, but then also the work that, you know, was declined and then the upcoming mm -hmm. work that was recommended. And the other important side of that is putting that all in front of the customer sure. because, you know, we tell customers, hey, your brakes are getting kind of low. You probably want to do them today. Oh, we can't do them today. You know, and that's a decline job. And mm -hmm. when it comes to safety items like brakes, we want to be sure it's on that document because as most shops know, that invoice is a legal document. Sure. Yep. And in some states, it even has to be designed very specifically as a legal document to work. So if a customer declines breaks today and you know that that's a dangerous thing, be sure you get that on there and put it in front of those customers. Mm -hmm. And then the last thing is these invoices are now eco-friendly. You can avoid all of the wasted paper. I mean, if any of you can relate to it, sometimes those receipts go in the trash right yeah. away. You know, send it through email, send it through text, anything that you can do to really make your whole entire shop more eco-friendly. Mm -hmm. That's always a win for everybody. Uh, it's a win for your shop, it's a win for the customer, and it's just another added bonus to any auto repair invoicing software. I mean, look at how much money you spend on ink and how much money on paper. And just like you said, Shana, and I said earlier, a lot of customers just toss it in the glove box or they just toss it in the trash. Mm -hmm. What you're suggesting is that we get rid of the paper and send it digitally. Mm -hmm. And think about this, anyone that drives for a living, anyone that has a fleet, if you have a fleet manager, sending them a copy of this digitally, they can store it on their computer. When tax time, sale time comes, all that information is immediately at their fingertips. They don't have to dig through the files and find out what was done. And I mean, I know you've seen my office, so if it's anything like my office. Surprise you got out of it. <laughs> I can't find anything that I need unless I can go into my email, unless I can go into my text and mm -hmm. search for it myself because the papers are not always organized. No. So if any of your customers are anything like I am, this is going to be something that saves them an amazing amount of time, um, and they're going to appreciate you for it. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> All right. Well, I just aired out my dirty laundry about how messy my office can be with papers, but let us know, are, are your shops currently using all Auto repair invoicing software what do you like what do you hope to see um, we want to keep the conversation going so make sure you drop any of your comments or thoughts down in the comments section below and let us know about any upcoming topics you'd like us to focus on you know one last piece mm -hmm. point about that if you're sending it by email you're getting the customers email and ladies and gentlemen there's another way of advertising to your customers exactly so that's you know hey give me your you know and I'll send it to you next thing that you're saying them hey come on back yeah it's just another way to keep in communication with your customers which is ultimately going to earn you more business yes perfect well i know that we are automotivated we are automotivated we want to know are, are you, you automotivated <laughs> take care we'll see you next week